Hello, Value Investors. Thank you for joining me. Today, I want to talk about Amazon and why I believe that Amazon is undervalued. We're going to talk about Amazon as a mega cap, growing its business at 30% year over year. We're going to talk about Amazon and the sell of the happening tech last week. We're going to talk about its advertising business. This is where I think that investors are not sufficiently pricing in. Then we're going to talk about its valuation and bring that all together. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to check out my marketplace. It's called Deep Value Returns. I'll tell you the stocks I own and why with balanced arguments for the stocks I own. You're welcome to do a totally free trial, so hopefully you find something that suits you. So let's get started. So last week, Amazon reported that its top line was up 37% year over year and its guidance looking out to the holiday seasons is expected to be at the midpoint up 33% year over year. So I follow many US companies and I don't know of a mega cap household name that is growing its top line at 30% year over year, slightly above that 30%, 33% year over year. That's a very strong pace of growth for a company with market cap of a trillion. That's really, really significant. So the one thing I wanted to talk about is that on the back of these results, the stock actually sold off. On the surface, I think that right away that many people would consider uh, it reporting on the same day as Apple. And Apple's revenue was up 1% year over year. And many investors were like, whoa, this is probably too much. We're paying too much of a premium. So with Apple selling off, I believe that had a knock-on effect to Amazon. That's on the, on the top surface. But as we go a little bit below that, I think that just... The market is really in 2020 is really taken off quite significantly because of tech. So, tech has really been the reason why this, the, the, the SP has actually done quite well. If you take out tech, the rest of the market has not done so well. So, you know, Apple is obviously a tech stock, so many people are thinking, okay, you know, maybe tech has rallied enough. Now, I believe this is quite short sighted, and I think investors should really start thinking about how next year, 2021, is going to be looking. So, Hopefully, you know, towards the back end of 2021, we'll have a vaccine around, hopefully, you know, I said that before, but investors should really be a bit more discerning. And I think that here, when they look at Amazon, I think that if you're a little bit discerning and you think about what's still not priced in sufficiently, you'll find that Amazon is actually quite an attractive business to be paying the multiples that investors are being asked to pay, which I'll come to in a minute. So the one thing that I want to talk about is Amazon's advertising business. So during 2018, advertising business for Amazon, which is reporting under its other segment, was growing at triple digits. So that's very strong growth. Then in 2019, that half, the revenue growth rates from that advertising business are really half year over year. So I, I, I feel like many investors were thinking, okay, maybe that was a pop and fizzle and that's just come away. But as we go into 2020, not only each one of the quarters is, is growing, you can see that in this latest quarter during Q3, whereas many businesses were struggling with advertising, Amazon was up 49% year over year. So in over 90 day period, Amazon's advertising business is bringing in 5 billion in revenue. That's quite significant. And I think that the investors are not sufficiently giving that weight for Amazon's business. So just to briefly touch about this valuation. So assuming that as Amazon goes into 2021, that its revenue growth rate decelerates slightly. At that point, thereabouts, Amazon's top line is growing at 30%. And we know that Amazon is still investing for growth. And we also know that Amazon has a large operating leverage. So as its top line continues to grow and it's, it's its investments in infrastructure start to stabilize that really expands out its operating cash flows and we can see that on this quarter year over year its cash flows were up 56 percent year over year so amazon's made 55 billion of cash flows from operations over its trailing 12 months so paying just 27 times trailing multiples to cash flow not earnings not Nothing else to, to cash flow for businesses growing on a top line of 30%, I believe, is is quite undervalued. So just to summarize everything, we talked about Amazon's revenue growth rates, we talked about its advertising business, and we talked about the multiple investors that are asked to pay. 
So if you haven't done so already, don't forget to check out my marketplace. It's called Deep Value Returns. I'll tell you the stock sale and why. Thank you for watching.